Good morning, Calvary. Pastor Chad here with your word for the day. Uh, have you ever wondered why you've been successful? Uh, see, I'm assuming that you've had some measure of success in some way, shape, or form. Uh, did you assume that it was because of your talent? Or maybe because you have a great work ethic and you just worked harder than everybody else? Or maybe you go, hey, I just got some lucky breaks and, and I took advantage of them. Maybe you, you're successful because you're a wise investor and, and uh, you've made great decisions. Or maybe you've been successful because you network wonderfully and you got these great connections. Um, if you're a follower of Jesus, can I give you another reason that you've been successful? Uh, Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse 18 simply says this, you shall remember the Lord your God, for it is he who gives you power to get wealth, or in some translations, to be successful. For it is God who gives you power to be successful, that he may confirm his covenant that he swore to your fathers as it is to this day. God is the one who gives us the power to be successful. Think about that. God's the one who gives us the power to be successful. Now, by any measure that is used out there, Calvary has been successful as a church. Uh, and since I've been the pastor for the last 29 years, I'm often considered to be successful as a pastor. And, and the truth is, uh, it's not because I'm a great preacher. It's not because I'm an amazing scholar. It's not because I'm a brilliant administrator. It's definitely not that. It's not because I'm a wild visionary. Um, the reason is Jesus. Only Jesus. I mean, that, that's it. And I know that sounds super spiritual, uh, but let me explain what I mean by that. Uh, here's kind of how I understand it. The Apostle Paul in 1 Corinthians 1 said, uh, God chose the foolish things of the world to confound the wise and the weak to confound the strong. So to be qualified to be a servant of God, uh, and the only reason I, I'm successful is because I'm weak enough and stupid enough for God to use me. Now, that may even be how the world actually sees it, but what I'm trying to say to you is this. No matter how talented you are, no matter how connected you are, no matter how wise you are, if you're a follower of Jesus, remember that it's God who made you successful. Never drift far from that, because the more that you rely on Him and acknowledge Him and realize that your fruit comes from Him, because He made you, He gifted you, He gave you the energy, He did all of that, uh, then uh, the more blessed your life's going to be because you recognize that it's not about you, but it's about the opportunity we have to be servants of the living God. And the more we hold on to that, then the more God's going to use us and the more success he's going to give us. I hope that helps, and I hope you and your family have a great day. God bless you, Calvary.